of Article 89 of the Constitution and ensure that no region gets more seats in Parliament than others. Again, that's another problem. They need to undertake that exercise and it needs time. And as we are already one year down the line after elections, it is time IABC was properly constituted to start this exercise early enough and ensure that there is equity when it comes to the distribution of um, electoral constituencies so that no area in the country will feel they are marginalized and others have been favored. Transparency, the justification for this uh, co-chairs is that transparent boundary deputation ensures equitable representation and reduces demandering promoting a more representative democracy. While it is said, no taxation without representation, for taxation without representation is tyranny. This should be done in moderation and consideration of the cost of representation without further burdening an already burdened Mwanaishi. Coaches, allow me to go to the audit of the 2022 presidential elections. Pre, during, and post election audit of systems, finances, process, and outcomes should be conducted not only for the 2022 elections, but also for future presidential elections. The justification for this is that the, dif the different audits should be geared towards addressing concerns about the electoral process, enhance transparency, and build trust in the, demo in the democratic system. The audit should be undertaken in multidisciplinary approach by re repeatable firms in the different sectors, including voting system, forensic, financial audits, among others. We are equally, as an issue, proposing to amend Article 86, subsection D, to add the words, and conducting a post-election audit of systems, finances, process, and outcomes after the words election materials. This will ensure that after the elections, there's an audit that has been conducted so that all of us are left comfortable. Nobody starts arguing that there are malpractices here and there. And the justification is that all Kenyans, or at least the majority of Kenyans, will be comfortable with the process. I submit to the co chairs. Co chairs, um, the multi career number two will be undertaken by CPA Hannes Murillo on outstanding constitutional matters.